We're going to turn to that scare at a hospital in Los Angeles where seven people have been infected with a potentially deadly superbug. Nearly 200 more at risk. ABC Cecilia Vega is in LA with the latest. Good morning, Cecilia. George, good morning to you. This superbug is extremely dangerous, and as you said, it can be deadly. It is already linked to two deaths here at this hospital, and now health officials say they don't want to see it spread anywhere in this community. This morning, nearly 180 patients treated at UCLA's Ronald Reagan Medical Center warned they may have been exposed to a potentially deadly bacteria. It's a very potent, virulent organism that can cause, you know, death. In a statement overnight, the hospital revealing seven patients have tested positive so far, and they say an internal investigation found the outbreak may have been a contributing factor in two deaths. The drug-resistant superbug known as CRE likely transmitted to patients by contaminated medical scopes. If it's uh, not cleaned out, quote-unquote, cleaned out appropriately, then, then it can spread from one person to another. UCLA saying it sterilized the scopes according to the manufacturer, but that it is now using a decontamination process that goes above and beyond the manufacturer and national standards. The new fear, more confirmed cases of a bacteria that by some estimates can kill half of those infected. A similar outbreak from contaminated medical scopes infected more than 30 people in Seattle from 2012 to 2014. Other confirmed superbug cases in cities like Pittsburgh and Chicago. In Los Angeles, federal, state and local health officials are now investigating, sending out warning letters to those potentially at risk. Those letters offering patients a free at-home testing kit to determine whether they are infected. Now, those patients who are at risk would have been exposed here between October and January. George, so many questions out here this morning about how this could have happened. And let's get some answers now from Dr. Richard Besser. Thanks, Cecilia, very much. You know, Richie, hear this word superbug. Sounds so scary. What do yeah. we need to know about it? Well, it is very concerning. This isn't the first outbreak that's linked to, to a scope. CRE is one of the worst bugs that we know about because the, you're almost running out of antibiotics but a couple points people need to know many people can have this in their body and it won't cause any problem but you need to identify those people one because they could get infected but also if they come into the hospital and most of these people are in the hospital a lot you have to use strict contact precautions so they don't spread it to I'm other people I'm so surprised to see that these scopes can can transmit it even though they've been sterilized well one of the one of the things about this as they've looked in many of these outbreaks they can't find a breakdown in any of those cleaning procedures so there's something going on here, you know, whether they have to change the procedures or not. But there's a reason that scopes are, are spreading this in hospitals. Meanwhile, I got some very positive news overnight on, on breast cancer, the treatment for breast cancer. Yes. So this is this is very exciting news. One in five women with breast cancer have a type that's called HER2 positive, very aggressive. What they found is in treating women who have this, this, this cancer that's spread in their body, adding one drug can extend their life by more than a year. It can extend their life to, to about five years. And with that, very few additional side effects. And this could have some potential for, for getting cancers earlier as well. Yeah, you know, what, what, they're, what, they're, what they're finding is that if you can understand why a cell becomes cancerous and target that, you can come up with treatments like this that improve the outcome, improve lives, and have far fewer side effects than many of the treatments we're using. Love that encouraging news. Okay, Rich Besser, thanks very much.